Hello friends, today I am going to discuss with you one more important crucial aspect of business communication skills which is known as corporate meetings. Ladies and gentlemen, meetings occur often in any kind of corporate environment related to different topics and different problems that the corporate people are facing. But there is a proper structure of the meeting and today I am going to discuss with you that proper structure of conducting a meeting. Ladies and gentlemen, there are few crucial aspects of meeting. The very first aspect of meeting is that why the meeting is actually held. The meeting is actually arranged in order to consider a new proposal, in order to resolve the issue which the corporate people are facing or in order to introduce some new changes in the organization which are going to affect the employees of the organization. So whatever new is there happening in the organization to introduce that new venture to the employees of the organization, you know, to uplift the organization in any way or to discuss any serious matter inside the organization, meetings are held and meetings are very crucial aspects of business communication or any kind of business environment. But as I said, there is a formal structure of the meeting. So now I'm going to discuss with you the actual structure of the meeting. First of all, there are certain crucial aspects of the meeting. Before starting the meeting, the proper notice of the meeting should be given to all the participating members. All the members who are about to participate in the meeting, they must be given notice of the meeting in a written form seven days prior to the actual date of the meeting, ladies and gentlemen. Minimum seven or eight days prior to the actual date of the meeting. And in that notice, certain important informations must be mentioned. The notice contains the venue of the meeting, who will be the chairperson of the meeting, how many participating members will be there in the meeting, and most important and the crucial aspect that what will be the agenda of the meeting. These are certain crucial aspects which are mentioned in the notice of the meeting and it is also mentioned that the people who are going to participate in the meeting, they are also allowed to introduce proxies. Now what are proxies? Proxies are the people who come in place of those people who are not able to attend a meeting because of certain reason. If someone is not able to attend the meeting due to certain reason, he introduces somebody else on his behalf. So that person is known as proxy. So, as I said, the notice of the meeting should be given seven days prior to the actual date of the meeting. After that, the agenda of the meeting should be very much clear to the participating members. Because if the agenda of the meeting is clear to the participating members, they can participate well in the meeting. The agenda of the meeting is drafted by the chairperson of the meeting. The chairperson of the meeting is the person who creates the actual agenda of the meeting and sends that agenda six or seven days prior to the actual happening of the meeting. And in that agenda, certain points are mentioned in chronological order to explain that what is going to happen actually in the meeting what things will be discussed in the meeting, it is appropriately mentioned in the agenda. Now, all the participating members have got the information of the meeting. Now, when the actual meeting starts, then what happens? What happens is, first of all, the secretary of the meeting, he channelizes that what problems will be discussed in the meeting and when the meeting is being held, when the chairperson is sitting, and all the participating members are participating in the meeting, it is the responsibility of the secretary to disclose that what is going to happen in the meeting. He discloses the agenda and also discloses that what points are needs to be discussed in the meeting. After discussing the main points that what will be discussed in the meeting, the meeting actually starts. The initial statement is made by the chairperson of the meeting. He makes the initial statement and says that what is going to be actually discussed in the meeting. This is the problem and we are here to discuss this particular thing. Initial statement, once made by the chairperson, the other participating members, they start making their individual comments. While making the individual comments, it is very crucial that they must know that they should not interfere while some other person or other participating member is talking. Each participating member is allowed to sit quietly while someone else is speaking or someone else is explaining his or her idea. They should make notes of the ideas of every participating member if their ideas is not clear. 
So every participating member should individually get a chance to speak without any kind of interference. This is the general and proper procedure of conducting a meeting. During a meeting, the chairperson of the meeting can instruct anyone among the participating members if they are not following the discipline. If there occurs a consequence, a circumstance, when people are quarreling with each other, when people are fighting with each other literally during the meeting, it is the responsibility of the chairperson to see that they should calm down. They should talk politely because here we are not to fight. We are here to discuss a problem and to jot down the solution of that problem, which is going to be ultimately beneficial for the organization. So he teaches the people that meetings are not for fighting. We are here to discuss the problem and come up to the solution. After conducting of the meeting, there are certain other aspects of meeting as well. As I said that we have to make a cordial relationship between the participating members. It is also important that minutes of the meeting should be written properly. Now, what are the minutes of, sorry, I'm sorry, what are the minutes of the meeting? They are not minutes, actually they are called minutes of the meeting. So what is the importance of minutes of the meeting? The minutes of the meetings are the crucial decisions that are taken at the end of the meeting. The meeting is on a particular topic and after all the discussion, the minutes of the meeting are prepared by the secretary of the chairperson. It is the responsibility of the secretary of the chairperson that without intervening inside the meeting, he should jot down the important points which were discussed in the meeting. The minutes of the meeting give you the actual record of what happened at the meeting and what crucial decisions were taken at the meeting. These are called the minutes of the meeting. After the minutes of the meetings are prepared, the minutes of the meeting are in summary form, in the form of points or in form of small paragraph. And one more crucial aspect of minutes of the meeting is that once the minutes of the meeting are signed by the responsible authority, once the minutes of the meeting are signed by the chairperson, the owner of the organization, or anyone who is authorized to sign that document, once it comes in a signed form, it becomes a legal proof that meeting actually held. It becomes a legal proof and that can be shown in the court of law to prove that this particular meeting held. So minutes of the meetings are very crucial aspects of the meeting. They tell you that what actually happened in the meeting and what resolutions were passed. So it is the responsibility not of the chairman of the meeting but the secretary of the meeting who prepares the minutes. And these minutes, ladies and gentlemen, they actually tell that what actually happened in the meeting in a short form so that it is easily understandable to all the participating members in the meeting after the meeting is over. The copy of minutes of the meeting is also distributed to all the participating members so that they should clearly understand that what conclusions are come at at the end of the meeting. The main crucial aspect of the meeting, as I said in the beginning, is to come up to the solution of a particular problem. During the meeting, certain rules are followed and after the conduct of the meeting, the minutes of the meeting are prepared. The minutes of the meeting are prepared by the secretary and handed over to the chairperson and then chairperson of the organization, he hands over the minutes of the meeting to the higher authority and then the actual decisions are made which are implemented in the organization. So this is the overall procedure of conduct of the meeting and we should make it very clear in our mind that all the participating members should not interfere as it happens in group discussion. So as I said, Always concentrate on important aspects of the meeting, which are the minutes of the meeting, the agenda of the meeting, and the notice which should be given seven days prior to the actual conduct of the meeting. So these are very crucial aspects of meeting. If these crucial aspects are followed in the organization, the meetings will not be a waste affair. It will be a proper collaboration of ideas and the new ideas can create goodwill for the organization, ladies and gentlemen. So that's all I wanted to tell you today regarding the corporate meetings. If followed in a proper way, and if all the rules and regulations of the meetings are followed, an organization can grow leaps and bounds. So always bear in mind that for any kind of fruitful meeting, these rules should be strictly followed. And I hope that you will definitely follow these rules, what I just said. So thanks for being here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much.